Welcome to Viewcon at North 61. One of the things, I really like this Marlin. It's accurate. It's uh, very, uh, feeds very well. I don't know if you saw that. I just fed an empty. But the ejection, if I run that fairly slow, it doesn't go up. It really requires, it really requires a fast stroke to eject. And when you use that fast stroke, it'll even eject sideways. But is there anything to make this more positive ejection? Let's play with that today. I have something here from Wild West Guns called the Bear Proof Ejector. So let's see how these ejectors work. Now, one thing I like about the Marlins is if you loosen up this little screw right here, just make sure you got it all the way out. And then work the lever. You can take out the lever, hold down the hammer, you can take out the bolt, and if you tip it on, you remove the extractor. And let's take a look at these two extractors. One from Wild West, and then one is from Marlin. So there's the Marlin. And you will notice it's in two pieces. There's, the spring is a secondary piece. It's got a little hole and that fits out this res, recess here. So it's, it's, it's fitting the machine like this on the inside. And that little, that little round comes out that hole. And here is the Wild West guns. Mm -hmm. And it's called their Bear Proof Ejector, and it is one piece. There's not two pieces there. And you'll see it's shaped basically the same. The dimensions are similar. The Wild West one is a little wider and a little about the same length. And you'll notice it says on the little box, hope this is all. Bear Proof Ejector. This product should be installed by a competent gunsmith. Well, if it turns out to be a little wide, I would simply put it on a, a water, Japanese water stone, very fine water stone, and just grind it down, make sure you're going straight across it, and then I'd re-blue it. But it uh, turns out I've already installed this, and it fits in fine. So this is a drop-in fit. So let's see what the difference is between these two with ejection. So first I'll start with the Marlin and we'll try five ejections and then we'll go to the the Bear Proof from Wild West Guns and we'll see if there's any improvement here at all. So here's the Marlin extractor. Okay with a fairly decent uh, it comes out I don't love the way it comes out, but if you give it a little bit more slack, it comes out quite nicely. And let's try it against gravity. Nope. Let's try it against gravity again. Nope. Try it against gravity again. Yep. It worked that time. Let's try it against gravity one more time. Nope. I like the way it feeds, though. Eh? It's feeding right in there with the empty. Nope. So it's inconsistent when you're doing it on its side. So let's install the Wild West and see if it works better. Okay, so that is the Marlin ejector out and the Wild West ejector in. And let's see, hopefully we see some improvements. Okay, so here we go out the side. No, 
I'm doing it leisurely. It seems to be kicking them out there. If I do it fast, it kicks them out quite nicely. And let's try the side, which is where the marlin had some trouble. Okay, if I give, give it a snap, I can't really tell the difference, to tell you the truth. It still struggles with that side ejection, which is uh, it might happen in a defensive situation. If you give it a nice snap right at the end, it seems to come out. And unless you do it fast, it doesn't come out. And again, if you, do, if you give it fairly soft. It doesn't come out, but speed it up a little bit. To tell you the truth, I cannot tell any difference between those two ejectors at all. Uh, I'll keep the Wild West one in it, but you know, they say it might be less likely to be broken because it's one piece, but because this piece is always kind of maintained in there with pressure from the bolt that's never going to come loose so I think you could save your money and just stay with the regular Marlin I think it works just as well I can't tell the difference between them it's still a fairly soft ejector and I guess that's user error because if you give it you know a reasonable lever throw it does throw out of there pretty well, but uh, but if you put it in, I, I love, love the way it, it feeds empty cases. If you give it a fairly, oh, Wild West guns. It's a subtle difference, if anything. So, anyway. Is the Marlin a perfect firearm? No, I like the way Winchesters eject better, but uh, tremendously accurate. And uh, people wonder why I got a 450 Marlin instead of a 4570. Well, at the time I bought this, you couldn't get the really hard hitting loads for 4570 in Canada, and I had a lot of the light, the uh, short Magnum, so I thought this would be a nice one for my collection. If I was to do it over again, I think a 4570 is probably uh, just as good. But there's nothing wrong with the 450 Marlin. These threads are are a little different on the on the on the 450s. They made them to hold a little more pressure. But because the 4570 has a little more capacity, because the walls are thinner, uh, it's a wash. They both get about the same ballistics, which is plenty good. The other thing I want you to watch for is the ejection. I'm just going to normally eject and we'll see how it goes. This has got the new Wild West Guns Bear Proof Ejector. And the sun is shining a little different. I can see the target just a little better, but it's still hard to index perfectly. Yeah, I just hang in there. That will never happen with the Winchester. Now, if you smartly wrap this, it'll eject. But this is the Marlin ejector. Or this is how Marlins eject, even with that Wild West guns insert. There. So if you snap it, oh uh, yeah, that's the ejection. It's a little snappier than it was. So when you do it fairly slow. But if you do it really slow, you'll miss. I like the way it feeds empty. So it's not really a problem for normal use. If a grizzly had you and you were forced to cycle it from the side, you really have to give it a good snap. But when you do, it'll eject then too. The wild, this Wild West ejector is, I think, a little better. Let's uh, check the ejection of the 3030 or the 94 or 375. So it doesn't matter how slow or how fast 
like look as slow as possible because it's got a little spring in there so that's just John M. Browning and it also doesn't matter if it's on the side or upside down or whatever direction it is so I would say as a fighting carbine yeah that's hard to beat uh, yeah so much much better ejection system